Boys and girls, I'm going to show you how you're going to make your very own truffle tree from the Lorax storybook by Dr. Zeus. I'm going to put this to the side and what you're going to receive is one large sheet of coloured construction paper. This is your background, which I call the support. You're going to get another sheet of coloured construction paper that is going to be about eight inches deep and then an additional one which is going to be about four inches deep and what we're going to do is we're going to rip them or we're going to cut them to give them a landscape texture so this is your background mid ground and foreground how we tear is basically we pinch with our finger and our thumb and we follow along at the upper edge and control it with our fingers if you do not feel confident in doing that then we can use scissors so there's one that i've done if you want to use scissors and do a textured effect then you could either do zigzags or wavy lines or a bit of both so really what we're doing is we're taking that flat edge off of it and layer it so that's what we're going to have done first then I'm going to give you black strips that are already pre-cut and these are going to be your tree trunks and in the storybook the tree trunks are either black and white or yellow um, and black so you're going to do three or four with a long strip you're going to cut the stripes and you can do them any size you want like medium thick or have them all the same and you're going to stripe your tree trunks and I'll just set this one because I've made one already. Just going to pop this up here. And this one's nearly finished. So you can see what I'm talking about. I've, I've stuck down my middle and foreground onto my background. And there's my stripes. I've got three trees. And I'm just going to finish off. Rub a little bit of glue. And set it down. Okay. And there's my tree trunks done. Make sure they're all stuck down properly. This guy just needs a little bit more glue. He didn't get it. There we are. Then what we're going to get is we're going to get six sheets of colored tissue paper. You can use one color or you can use a multitude of colors to make the truffle tree in 3D. So I've got a variety of colors here and stack them up nice and neatly as best as you can. And you're going to fold them accordion style. So imagine making a fan. So I'm going to do a small fold, neat fold, turn it over, fold it, press it down so you're getting it firmly pressed, turn it over, fold it down and repeat until the whole thing is folded. then you're going to get either a small strip of pipe cleaner or a little piece of wire to fix into the center to work out where the center is what i generally do is i fold this and just give it a little press and when i open it up i can see where the fold was and that's my guide to tell me where to put my my wire or my little piece of uh, pipe cleaner i'm going to use a piece of wire today I'm just going to cut a little piece of wire and keep it folded still and wrap the wire around the middle and twist it and if you've got a pipe cleaner you're going to do exactly the same thing. Pipe cleaner's just got the same principle but it's fuzzy and I twist it and twist it and make sure that it's nice and tight and then just bend those little extra pieces of wire in so it's not going to jag you. Now with your scissors you can either cut a rounded shape or you could cut a pointed shape. So if I show you here, I'm just going to take a point there and a point there. Okay, the pointed shapes will probably look best for the truffle tree. Now lay it down, fan it open. and then take one piece of tissue paper at a time and pull it out okay take it 
from both sides one piece at a time and pull it out and just keep doing that pull it out until you've done all the sheets of tissue paper pull it out now I'm on the purple pull it out now you can see what's happening here you're getting actually a paper pom-pom and we're going to use this for our Lorix art project and this is going to be the 3D for the top of the tree okay when you've got the whole pom-pom done go back to your art project and with your glue stick put a great big smudge of glue and then press it down and then allow it to dry the rest of them you're actually going to create two-dimensional truffula trees I'm going to give you a disc and you're going to trace around the disc and then you're going to go around the disc and create the tufts and if I just push this one up just to show you how to do the tufts you're going to get orange and violet and with a pencil trace around that circle if you're no good at doing freehand circles and let me show you up close and what I kind of do is a bit like a sun or a sharp blade I'm going to go round and round and round I'm doing this up close to the screen so you can see and then I'm going to cut that shape out and I'm going to put glue on this side so when I turn it over I've got a clean side and you can see if you've got time I use just a little black marker just highlighted the edges and you're going to do that for the extra tree trunks that you've done this one had four and the one that I've just demonstrated actually had three so I'd make an extra two tuffler tree tufts in lilac and in orange so that I end up with a project just like this now it's your time to have a go boys and girls let's go and make a truffle a tree <laughs>